While the human race may be considered the dominant species on this planet, it's kind of sickening when you think about how we got here in the first place. In order to get to where we are today, there's so much other life that had to get destroyed along the way. Not just the monsters, but regular animals, plants, water, natural life. All of it got consumed and destroyed because humanity never knew when to stop. They never knew when it was enough. They were never satisfied. It's kind of a twisted thought that the only way to keep humanity in check is to put them at risk of dying over and over again by summoning more and more monsters. The fact that we can only get along if our lives are on the line. But if we destroy this stone, which was given to us by the gods, not only would we be creating the same mistakes that our ancestors made, reliving the same failures and mistakes that they have already been through and suffered through, but in destroying the stone, we'd be destroying so much other life along with it. First the monsters, then eventually animals, plants, and eventually ourselves all over again. While it's never a good idea to just leave the future to its own devices, simply because we won't be there to experience it, we'd love to give our descendants as good of an opportunity at life as they could possibly have, I'm sure. But at the same time, we may have failed them because we don't have all the answers yet. We couldn't destroy to steal without taking so much away from them in the process, without their consent. No magic, no monsters, and an indescribable world that we have no idea what it will be like when that time comes. For the sake of the future, and all who will thrive in it, I'd like to give them the power of choice just as we have been given this choice right now. Even if Desteel is reborn one day, I have faith that the heroes of the future will have no problem taking her down, backed up with the history and the knowledge of our past mistakes. The fate of the future is in their hands. With you, brother. We cannot abandon magic and risk repeating the mistakes of the past. The gods have foreseen our destiny, and we cannot forsake them. Uh, hello? What about to steal? The world's fate lies with our children, and our children's children. And their children? She will return one day, but my children... Ali's children, Zozo's children, even Allegro's children. Allegro's getting laid! They will defeat her just as we did. The Deluxe Caliber and the Code of Princess will live on after we're gone. Sis, I'm proud of you. I'm so proud! Deluxia needs a ruler like you. Yeah, about that. There's something... I mean... Uh, we're all leaving again to go find Zozo's body. Don't wait up for me! <laughs> we're all packed up. You break the news to him yet? Don't worry, Schwartzy. I'll keep your sister nice and safe. Sage's honor. You sure you all want to come? Of course! This is what friends are for, Zozo! I guess I can't stop you from going. Please stay out of trouble. I'll look after things here. You're the best brother ever! Farewell, Solange. And one more thing. Put some clothes on before you leave this time. How many times have I told you? This is a designer gown! <sighs> Solange, don't hit your brother like that. 
Swing from the hips. You do more damage. I love it when girls put their hips into it. I should have just left without telling anyone. <laughs> <laughs> And that is Code of Princess for the Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. It's sort of a weird note to end on, the fact that the final boss is still out there in the future. Kinda leaves a bad taste in my mouth that we left it the way it, did, it is, but... I don't know, maybe things will be okay in the future. We just have to have faith in humanity, just as Solange and everyone else does. And think about it, if we got rid of all of magic, so many things would have changed in our group. Like, what would have happened to Zozo's body if we had gotten rid of magic right then and there? And Marco Neko probably would have turned into a regular cat, we could never talk to him again. Though that might have probably been for the best in Allegro's sense. But it's just interesting how everything could be completely different based on a single choice. But yeah, we are finally done here. This is a game that means so stinking much to me, I'm sure you all know that by now. I've gushed about this game forever and ever and ever, and I will continue to do so until the end of time. It, I gotta be completely honest with you, it sort of became a running joke, and I sort of kept up with it for the sake of being a joke. I do love this game, but I continue to talk about it just because I thought it was funny that I was the only one that ever knew about it. And it was just sort of a way to uh, make my friends laugh and uh, kind of annoy them at the same time because it was just funny to bring it up over and over again. This one game that I was obsessed with and nobody else ever knew about. But having this happen right now, I know I've said this a million times at this point, but to have this game evolve into something so much more, and like I just wind up choosing this one game to be my obscure game of choice that I adore and nobody else knows about and it wound up evolving into this greater entity by having a switch port that gave the game a lot more accessibility to other people while also due to the extra differences of the switch version that aren't uh, doesn't have it completely cleaned up I would have preferred if the switch version was just definitively the best version to play but because there's some so many differences between the switch and 3ds version that aren't necessarily good changes I could still say that the 3DS one is just as enjoyable, so there are two different versions if you want to play, if you have a preference over uh, whether or not it's in English voice acting or not, or if you don't like grinding, then you play the Switch version. There's just a lot of uh, interesting decisions that can be made, or if you just want to have like custom made characters, then you play the 3DS version. So I like it in that sense, and I like that even if you don't have a Switch yet, you could still play the 3DS version without thinking it's a bad uh, purchase because... Uh, it's inferior or anything like that because it really isn't. The 3DS version is still really stinking great and, and some t people might say it's preferred over the Switch version. But anyway, I absolutely adore this game and if, even though I kept it up of just t uh, talking about it over and over as sort of a joke, I truly do love the game. The gameplay is super stinking addicting, especially when you get really good at it and it's easy to learn which is very nice. The music is phenomenal, I absolutely adore every single song in this game. The characters are so stinking silly and wacky, and the writing is very hilarious. It's something that you really only would have gotten to experience in the English version, because that sense of comedy did not shine through as much in the Japanese version from what I've experienced. It's just not the same without the voices, and I'm glad that I got to create this LP in the way that I wanted to. Hopefully some at some point down the line there might be some patch that allows the English voices to be in the Switch version normally. Or maybe we'll get ourselves a super awesome sequel to this game and the English voices will return in there. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm happy that I finally got to let's play this game. It's been in the works for so stinking long because I wanted to LP it like back in year 5, but I was like so stuck on trying to get 3DS LPs to work so I pushed it over to year 6. And then I just ran out of time so I pushed it to year 7 and then oh hey, the Nintendo Switch exists and now there's a Switch port, so that happened. So I guess it all just worked out in the end, as uh, stressful and as painful and difficult as it may have been to get to this point, it all just sort of worked out in the end now that I played this, uh, the Switch version and I made it as hopefully as enjoyable as I possibly could have done. If you really didn't enjoy, if you really don't enjoy this game in particular in general, I hope you just enjoyed watching it and hearing me talk about it because 
it's something that truly means a lot to me, and I'm really grateful that I finally got to share it with all of you. But for now, our journey here is finally over. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Code of Princess EX. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Sweet dreams.